Wow, this Terran Gangster Wheel, AKOG Giggity. That's enough of that. Listen, he's recording. Yes. Why are you recording? I haven't gone outside yet. We, we'll do that later. Now, I need it now. Okay, now tell me why you come to my boy. The people want to know that, Jay. Because yeah. I married the wrong man. And what happened? Look, they talk to them. Don't talk to me. I'm right. telling you because I missed your party. I don't owe them no apology. I owe you apology. Well, you already. Uh, I, I mean, I kind of owe you apology, but it's really not my fault because I was taken away in handcuffs and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> she was handcuffs and drugs. They beat the crap out of me. What did you do for the people to beat you? Up? Nothing. I was trying to stop my husband from beating up on my nephew, and all of his friends were sitting around. And then when I tried to get them off of him, they body slammed me. And when I got back up and realized, that's when I went into the car and I got my son's ashes and I started. You know, going into my old practices and old ways, and I finally got them up off of my nephew, but they called the police and said that I was the one that started it. So when the police came, they weren't even interested in hearing anything. They just instantly attacked me, beat me up. George Floyd at me in the parking lot. They did. They had me hogtied. Like, this is from the parking lot. So y'all had a gang fight? No. No. There was a fight. I tried to stop my husband from beating up on my nephew, Solar. Right. And they beat up on me for trying to stop him. And then they called the police and told the police. I mean, but they wanted, they, that, that was what they wanted anyway. Because the fix was already in. And that's when I just found out that money had been paid to the, you know, to the PD to handle up on me. Because I caught them with their hand in the cookie jar. Oh, wow. And seven days before that happened, I had just fingered... Sean Carter for the unalivement of Big L. And then a week later, I'm in the hospital. So you think they tried it? I know. I know what it was. Okay. I know what they, you saw what they continued to do. Well, I don't know you saw, but the rest of America saw. I, I went back into the hospital. My husband was torturing me. He was running around. There was gunplay. There was all kinds of wild stuff going on. And the total PD was willing, like, that's the thing that bothered me. Everyone knows that my, my husband is a veteran. Everybody knows that he off his rocker. Those same police officers have had to take him to the very hospital they took me to on five occasions in a straight jacket. Wow. And that's your witness against me. Mm. Does that make sense? Not at all. No. Not at all. Should somebody with that kind of mental health problems be allowed to say that their spouse is crazy and just sign a white mm. warrant and have them thrown into a hospital? And guess what? Him and his best friend, who I found out he's been having a secret broke back mountain relationship with, Whoa. they turned around and did the same thing to his baby mama and her put in a hospital to cut kids from her. And they just been living high off the hog on state services and checks and food stamps and shit. Hmm. So I'm like, is that the new thing now? When niggas from Oak Cliff, they just say their wives is clay crazy and have them locked it away in drugs so that they can run off and be gay or be whores or what I don't know. So the man had you locked away so he can go. Yeah, do a thing. Stole all my money from the company. Sold the access codes to my server for uh Dallas Duffy when I had it before, before I, I set up this new situation with View It. Um yeah, he did everything he possibly could do to make sure we failed. Oh. Now, what, what would be the reason for that? Because he worked for me. He can't keep a job. He's totally off his rocker. Why would you ruin a business that was about to start printing $150,000 a month? Yeah. Yeah. Unless somebody paid you or did something, you know what I mean, to say, hey, it's in your best interest to tank this because we're gonna give you this. Like, right, right. Doesn't it nothing else makes sense? And he was a little intimidated by you and going to the party. What do you mean intimidated by He me? thought you had a crush on me. Uh, I did. But now here's the thing. What? I didn't come at you no type of way Never. when I was together, so no matter. It's a lot of people have crushes on you, so. You were always hella respectful, and you treated him. His insecurities had nothing to do with reality. And the crazy part about it, he went through all that, and yeah. look where we at right now. Yeah. Ain't stopped nothing. 
Can't style, won't style. Who said that? <laughs> Jerry, who said who say that? Somebody that don't like me very much. Who don't like you? But he didn't write it though. That's the funny thing. Who wrote that? It's a Philly boy that wrote all that stuff. Philly boys wrote all that stuff. State property wrote all. Can't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller records. Uh, we get down, baby. We oh. get down. That was all Philly. Oh, God. I'm not sure if it was Emilio Sparks or um or Lil Chris, either Chris or Neith that wrote those that mm -hmm. that can't stop, won't stop. But yeah, you all of that. It. Yeah, for Philly. What part? North Philly. North Philly. Okay. Richard Allen Mafia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. But I lived all over my city. I mean, the truth is, is I I lived in every neighborhood in my city before I left. Oh, gotcha. Like, I'm one of those people who I got to know where I'm at. Like, my daddy raised me, always know your exits. Never walk into a place that you don't know how you're walking out of. You want to take a break right quick? Well, if you'd like to give them a little, a bit of your side, I'll be right back. And you can explain to them why I didn't get to go to your lovely party. We'll talk about that when you get back. No, we'll talk about something else when you get back. Oh, I'll, I'll be back. That's right. She's back. <laughs> but the Terminator, I'll be back. <laughs> right. So anyway, y'all, that's right. That's Jane Wall right. That's right. That's the that's the the mother, the head honcho, female YouTuber. What y'all do? Y'all disagree? I'm saying she's the mother of the YouTube. Jag all right. Now I will say this. My top three. Jag all right. Uh uh Tokyo Tony. Mother. Tia Kim. I just want to say that's my top three for this YouTube. And you know, I know there's other women out there that's snapping doing what they do. But those are my top three. Y'all give me y'all top three. And I know a lot of y'all like, OG Giddy Boy, you playing chat? Nah, I keep telling y'all, but I like Monopoly. I like Monopoly. K Chill, watch out. Because you're way a role better than mine. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a little sample of Jay Wall, right? Y'all know how she snap, how she like to go off. So I just wanted to give y'all a little taste. Then we're going to come back. Um, I don't know, I might go live, but I don't know, man. It's just it's a beautiful thing right now, man. I'm just enjoying life right now, you dig? But, oh, let me put my shades on. Let me put my shades on, because, uh, yeah, some shade in the room, you know? I'm, I'm playing poker right now. <laughs> it's, a poker, it's my poker thing. <laughs> oh, man, yo. Hey, yo, I told him, boy, they had to be wondering what I'm going to do next. Yo, say, yo, they be talking about OG Gay. Man, hey, yo, I can jump back and kiss myself. But I'm jealous of myself. Anyway, man, I'm going to get back with y'all. I'll be back. Y'all just calm down. I'm going to crank her up. I'm going to get her going. I, I, we gonna, we, we about to, you know what? That's what we're going to dive into. I know what I'm going to dive into. Y'all just stay tuned. I just want to get y'all late. Sample of what I got going on, what's happening, hanging out with the beautiful, lovely uh, Jaguar Wright. Um, oh man, I forgot her crew name. She got the, uh, my man, y'all forgive me, but I'm gonna get it right for the next video. Y'all know my model, let's say no to drugs, let's stop the violence, put the guns down. Make sure y'all can test it for each other, because y'all need to know y'all status. That the nonprofit, they need us. The Instagram, they need us. Third War, the movie, them boys at war. The reality show, Life at. No, the reality show is Surviving Without Birdman. It's on my channel right now. Make sure y'all check that out. Support that. I got the merch. Man, I'm just enjoying it. I'm just having fun. Thank y'all for all the support. You know? uh, like I said, we coming back.